Yo, what is good YouTube and friends? You're here chilling with the real Satoshi Aoki. Happy Sunday, we've got another Crypto.com video for you today. And I've actually got a special guest, a very close friend of mine, who's very passionate about cryptocurrency. He's been using the Crypto.com app for a few months now, but he's fairly new to the actual app itself. So he's actually gonna come on the channel and I'm gonna be asking him a few questions about Crypto.com, some positives, some negatives. So make sure you do stick around for that. Also folks, for those of you that have taken part in my competition where I am going to be giving out $50 worth of CRO at the end of December, a lot of you did leave your comments on the YouTube video saying what card that you did have, but you didn't actually retweet the actual tweet on my Twitter because the fact is I need to actually be able to message you on Twitter to actually confirm that that is your actual identity give you the prize. So if you did actually leave a comment in the YouTube, make sure you jump on the Twitter guys, retweet the tweet from last week or this week's episode so I can actually message you on there. And again, for those of you that don't know, you wanna enter the competition today, I will be giving away $50 worth of CRO to one person at the end of December. So make sure that you do subscribe and turn the notifications on for that one. So for those of you that are new here, welcome. I do highly encourage you that if you do love crypto.com, then drop an atomic bomb on that like button so we can spread the love for crypto.com worldwide. I do cover weekly videos about crypto.com. We talk about news, price movement, and just basically anything crypto.com related. On the app for sort of around four months now. <laughs> yes, <dude. laughs> Yes, bro. Welcome to the channel, man. What are you saying, man? Good to have you here, bro. My pleasure. So guys, do be kind to my close friend, Dwayne. He's super passionate about cryptocurrency. And mate, you've been on the crypto.com app for about four months. Sort of, what have your positive experiences been using it so far? Okay, so yeah, I've been on it for about four months. I've had nothing but positive experience so far. Good. So I think I was mostly attracted to the staking aspect. Okay. So I think it was roughly $400 I staked just to attain the Ruby Red card. Yeah. So yeah. that's a Visa card that you can use anywhere. You get 2% back on every single purchase. Nice. So that's a thumbs up from me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, also, other benefits are you get back uh, your Spotify subscription. So every month, I believe that's roughly nine or 10. It's a big pounds. saving, it's like 120 you know, pound a year or something, right? Yes, yeah, so that's in CRO. That's awesome. And you get that back in the native coin of CRO, the crypto.com coin. And it's not locked up. You can use that CRO. It's not like they lock it up. Like you can use it straight away. So like you can Absolutely. use it on the card or put it Certain on. times I have done that as well. So they've, uh, you know, put it back on, uh, you know, the exchange. Yeah. And you can literally sell it and yeah. put it on your card and top it up. So yeah. It's really good or you can leave it there to grow with the market as the market goes up you know your crow is going to go up as well so it just depends on your strategy and how you long i want to trade it and how long like so i mean you've been on four months you invested roughly 400 us dollars or something i think it was for the for the state um sure. how much has it gone up in value for you even in this even in this bearish times we're seeing like quite a retracement like over the last three weeks in the crypto space but even sure. with that you know what's your balance all right, so as I said, uh, I started off with $400. Yeah. So it's done more than a 3X now. So I'd say it's about fourteen to $1,500 now. Yeah, that's, um, that's, that's brilliant. No. And that is, <laughs> that's fantastic. Uh, that's just me leaving the money in. So obviously I'm still getting more with every spend I make. Yeah, you're just adding to it, yeah. 2% back. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's brilliant. And your Spotify subscription back. So that all adds up as well and yeah. grows with the market. So. And yes, yeah. happy days. Do you think you'll be up, you know, looking to upgrade to the next tier being Indigo, Indigo Blue, I think, so Indigo Blue or Jade Green once you're, because 1,500, I don't know, I think it's maybe like, what, what's the value for the next tier, do you know? Three. I believe that from memory, it's roughly a zero added on. So I think it's probably $4,000. Yeah, $4,000. So, so I mean, you, you yeah, could easily I mean, achieve that next year, even just with your current state. Yeah, in. absolutely. I mean, I'm looking to do it really anytime now so um because i do top up my card and put money on the exchange for other coins anyway so 
yeah. think very soon I'll be upgrading to the emerald green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, okay, green. Yeah, that's yeah. the next stage for me, I think, because I'm yeah. liking what I'm seeing from the ruby red. So yeah. it's just a natural progression, really. Yeah, fantastic. And what would you say, you know, and this is a biggie, guys. So for those of you tuning in that aren't you, you know, what would you say? Because, you know, we've both been there in the same boat where, you know, someone tells you invest in crypto, they tell you to do something, but you're on the fence for a long time. You don't do it because maybe someone's said something bad about Bitcoin or something like that. Um, you know, what advice would you give? Because now you're just, you know, you're doing research, you're all in, you're super passionate about it, you know, telling myself and, and Karina things that, you know, we have not even heard of, you know, and that, that, that's the beauty of the crypto space, you know, there is just so much to learn, you know, so what would you say to these people watching out there that are just on the fence of maybe getting a card, getting an app, even buying Bitcoin, you know, they just haven't done it. Yeah, but they just, they need that last little push. What would you say to them? Please? Okay, cool, yeah. So this is not financial advice. Uh, yeah. As you just said, I'll reiterate that. But I would say you just have to start somewhere. A lot of people yeah. are interested in cryptocurrency generally, mm -hmm. but they don't know where to start. So what I did, I just read blogs. All of these exchanges have free blogs. You've been smashing it. Social media. Mm -hmm. Check out my boy Satoshi Aoki, subscribe. Smash the like button, baby. Let's go. 100% so <laughs> you know just get all of that good knowledge and then you will feel a lot more confident so with um, competence comes confidence yes, 100% so um, also I would start with the crypto.com card because you don't actually need to know how to trade mm. so you don't need to know how to spot trade mm -hmm. uh, you don't need any technical analysis at all all you are doing is spending your money just like you would with any card from Barclays or HSBC. It's a Visa card. So the only difference is you are getting back something for your spend, 2% with the Ruby Red card. Yep. And also the additional um, benefit of reward with your Spotify subscription. So you're yeah. getting that back as well in the native currency Crow, yeah. which again can fluctuate with the market. So that's just even more gains for you. Yeah. It's just a win-win situation from something you're doing already. You are already going to go and spend money on groceries or your Christmas presents yeah. or this, that and the other every single day, yeah. uh, 365. So definitely, yeah. it's just a win-win situation and uh, there's not really much you need to know really. Yeah, do your own research, but you know, from us it's a no-brainer. And in terms of the CRO token itself, where do you see it, I don't know, in the next five years? Because you know, we all know, you know, we all like to make a quick buck. We're trying to make a quick buck on some of these shit coins. But, you know, where do you see CRO in the next five years with the fundamentals they're putting in place? You know, the, the performance, the recent performance of the token, you know, where do you see it, I guess, as a business in the next five years? All right. So I think it's going to be absolutely miles away from where it is now. Yeah. Um, it's already done really, really well, but I think it's got so much more distance to travel. It's got so much more mileage. Yeah. Uh, you know, potentially on the clock, like, you know, you're already watching UFC, you're seeing it all over the place, they're wearing it, it's yeah. in the ring, F1, you've got NBA now yeah. um, also affiliated with Crypto.com, it's just absolutely brilliant and, yeah. you know, it's only just going to go further, who knows, it could be, you know, Wimbledon tennis, it could be the Olympics, yeah. it could be absolutely anywhere your imagination goes because yeah. it's something that I think is accessible to everybody mm -hmm. and it's a good place to start. As I said, you don't need to know how to trade. Yeah. Um, it's just an easy way for you to engage with cryptocurrency because you are receiving that back every single time you spend with that visa. Yeah. And you might want to experiment a little bit with some spot trading on their website. Yeah. So that is an easy way to get involved with money that you're getting back for free. Yeah. Yeah. You could say. That's true. Yeah, no, well said, well said, very well said. And just with regards to, you know, things that they could possibly improve, if you have been watching the channel for some time, been involved in crypto.com, you'll know that, you know, there was always the ongoing issue of the customer service. You know, not just with crypto.com, most crypto companies are like this, to be honest, poor customer service. But I have to say, from my own personal experience, you know, they have improved their customer service a lot. They've re they really have invested in a serious chat support, which I think is quite significant and does, you know, deserve to really be noticed. So, and you know, for me personally, it's pretty much all good. But I guess from for you, who's maybe been dabbling in the app a little bit more recently, is there any areas um, that you would like to see crypto.com improve on in terms of the app or just anything at all, you know, some constructive feedback if you like? 
Okay, cool. I'll go with a sandwich approach. So they are an amazing app. Mm. They have great security, two-factor authentication, yeah. so that you uh, would use with a separate app, mm -hmm. but very secure, so you can trust your transactions. Well, you got a high-level insurance as well, one of the highest in the cryptocurrency space. So your funds Absolutely. are safe, held on cold storage too. You know, so. So that's very good. Although, I guess there's always room for improvement with everything. Um, I did uh, purchase some mana, some Decentraland on crypto.com the other day, but yep. I needed to exchange it mm -hmm. uh, to stablecoin. So I wanted to exchange it for some Binance USD just because I wanted to send it over to Binance yep. for something else. So um, I believe I wasn't able to do that. It wasn't a coin pairing that was available. So I did have to change it to BNB, which mm -hmm. is also um, on Binance as well. It's their coin. So I did that and then I sent it across Binance Smart Chain. By yeah. the way, that's a good integration that they've recently made. Yeah, it is. Uh, so that's really, really, you know, on the upside, that's really good. So I had to change it to Bin uh, BNB and then I sent it across to um, Binance through um, Binance Smart Chain, mm -hmm. BEP20. Yep. Uh, so yeah, from Binance, I did change it to Binance USD. So to stabilize that coin, um, yep against all the fluctuations but um, I couldn't do that on the crypto.com side so yeah. within that space of time where I was um, making that transaction the market could have gone down I could yep. have lost money that's luckily true. I didn't yeah so that's the only thing I would say they could possibly improve on just maybe uh, think about making more pairs available yeah. okay. to exchange so other than that, other than um, that pretty good thumbs up from me like yeah Kev, yeah, they've really done a good job so far. They have, they have. Now, well said, man. Well said. And you know, thank you for coming onto the show. It's been great having you here, guys. Again, drop a like on the um, on this video if you want to see the big man D in some future content uh, because I think he's bringing good vibes to the channel. And uh, we're just going to take a always, quick. Bro. It's been great having you here, man. Um, we're just going to take a quick minute to hear from our sponsor of today's video, OKX. Before finishing off the video, we're going to talk about some uh, CRO token news, some other news, and a little bit of um, information on where I'm going to be staking some CRO and Ethereum in the future. Alrighty, folks. So if you are looking for the lowest trading fees in the crypto space, look no further than OKX. Folks, I use OKX next to Binance. It is one of my trusted exchanges. Have been using it for some time. Very reputable, good level there and there will be an affiliate link for OKX in the description of the video. It is free to get signed up so head on over there and get signed up. Guys, it will be at the top of the description of this video, guys. They also have a wicked NFT marketplace with brands such as Board Ape Yacht Club and Clone X being repped in there as well. And if you are new to trading, folks, then again, head on over. And you can actually practice on OKX with its demo trading, okay? So you can practice with fake funds, all right? So if you're just learning about some technical analysis, it could be a really good place to start. Back to the video. Alrighty, folks, so we are here on the official Crypto.com Twitter. As you can see, folks, 1.4 million followers and growing strong. That is a serious number, folks. They are forming the backbone of mainstream crypto adoption. That bottleneck is getting tighter and tighter. And with people like Matt Damon featuring on some of these main promo adverts, you've got UFC sponsorship guys, you know, What's coming next, guys? What's coming next? I know I talk about these shills every video. I talk about, you know, Crypto.com being on the UFC. I talk about it on the NBA. I talk about it with the F1. Rightfully so. If you're new, you need to understand that Crypto.com are making these ripples, these waves in the crypto space that you just cannot ignore. So let's actually move on over, folks, and have a bit of a look at the current CRO price. We just give that bit of a refresh there. It's down 1.8% for the last 24 hours, sitting at 51 cents. Guys, do remember, Crow Token is at a total supply of 30 billion. So as that demand does increase when more people stake for that card, it's going to put a choke on the demand for the Crow Token, which theoretically will increase the price of CRO. Folks, we could easily see a $1 or more CRO in the first Q1 or Q2 of 2022. And for those of you that are free freaking out about the current markets guys you know CRO yes down 46% from all time high 25 days ago I highly highly encourage you to just zoom way out okay I know I do this every video but it's important you see it almost three years ago we're up 4,157% and even just in the last year up 695% 
Don't get sucked into these, these shorter time frames, guys, okay? I know they don't look good, but if you bought CRO up 7, 8, 90, 70, 80, 90 cents, and you're thinking of selling at 50 cents, again, not financial advice, but I highly recommend that you just hold because we are going to see a strong recovery for this token very, very soon. And guys, do remember, if you do want to get involved in the card, there will be a link for that one in the description of this video. Also, Crypto.com just recently listed PYR, guys, Vulcan Forge, which is kind of like a fantasy metaverse project, which I'm very, very bullish on as well. So really good to see PYR come over to the Crypto.com ecosystem. And just to wrap up this video, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to have a quick mention here of the Crystal Farms on VVS Decentralized Exchange here, guys, VVS Finance. So I know I was talking to you about taking my CRO funds off the DeFi wallet and actually putting them onto my app to upgrade to the Icy White card and sort of, you know, get those gains back. I think it's an 8.5% on BTC, maybe roughly a 12% back paid out weekly on the Crow token. But folks, you know, if you're a bull on ETH and you're a bull on Crow, which I'm sure most of you are, we're looking at 84.03% gains, which have been steadily there for the last week. I've actually been watching that. So me personally, I'm going to find out a way to actually put my CRO and some ETH on here to reap those nice rewards. So again, folks, hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, smash the like button if you do enjoy CRO. It's it's been great chatting with you. Have a great weekend. Make sure that you do retweet the tweet to get involved in the competition, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.